Good evening, teacher.
Mm. Oh, sí. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yes, teacher. Ah, va. Ok. Quizás se me había apagado el micrófono. Vamos a ver qué pasó. Ok, voy a empezar de nuevo con la lista entonces. Adriana Sofía. Adriana Sofía, no here. Ana Alicia. Ana Grisel. David Alexander. No David. Diego. Edwin Mauricio. Qué suave los oigo. Ya no voy a dar más volumen. Elda Cristina. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Present teacher. Grace Michelle. Grace Michelle. Ivonne Marcela. No here, Ivonne Marcela. Jennifer Elizabeth. Present. Jessica Lisset. José Alberto. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Carla Lorena. Lisset Dayanara. Present teacher. Nubia Zulema. Present teacher. Rebeca Marcela. Present teacher. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Víctor Manuel. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Adriana Marcela. José Alfredo. Present teacher. Ok. Bueno. There we go. Remember we have been talking about focus group. And today we will continue uh, talking about focus group, right? Uh, you're going to go over the... Okay. We will read a little bit about what a focus group is. Remember we were talking about that yesterday and uh, Later on, you will make a, a, a group of questions that you will pass to a focus group. Okay, so you will be working with your group from the beginning. Remember the original group of the product? Do you remember? Aquel grupo con el que diseñaron primero. Eh, ajá. Vamos a ver. Sí. The group that you used when you design or when you started the product, that one. Okay. That's the group that you're going to be working with. Vamos a ver, Ana. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you will make memory of who are the people you were with in that uh, product, right? Well, let's talk about uh, defining focus groups and what is a focus group? Who wants to share? Who wants to help me read? What is a focus group? Mm -hmm. Me teacher. Okay, Victor, go ahead. Okay. What is a focus group? A focus group 
is a small group of people selects, but selected based on the specific check characteristics. Mm -hmm. I am watching, uh, okay. To take part in a discussion for the purpose of market research or other type of research. Focus group are a kind of primary research unlike market research software, which is one of the most popular tools for conducting research in the present day. A focus group does not take place digitally. Not, not before, before COVID. COVID. <laughs> that, is, that is not many events, whether they are research related to otherwise take place via online meetings. Mm -hmm. Okay, so remember we have said a focus group is a group of people that are selected and that share a specific characteristics, right? So, because you, ha you have a research to do and the purpose is to see the, so people answer questions about the product and they help you develop it or improve it, right? And we say that a market research software that is like the most common will be made online while the focus group is better to be in a presential way. Of course, you know, the pandemic came to change everything. And now focus groups are also made uh, visually. But in the past, they used to be uh, just presential. Okay. So what is a focus group? It's a group. Of what? It's a small group of selected people based on a specific characteristics. Yeah? And the purpose is to help develop the product, right? Or improve it. Okay. In the focus group, there should be a, it doesn't matter how many people are there in the group, there should be a moderator. What does the moderator do? What is the role of the moderator? Who wants to read? Mm -hmm. Rosy? Hi, teacher. Hi, Ivonne. Hello. Todavía estoy en camino, pero yo puedo leer. No va manejando usted, ¿verdad? No, 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 no voy manejando. Ah, va. Ok, ya pues así sí. <laughs> the role of the moderator moderator mm -hmm. is to ask questions, manage the discussion, make sure everyone speaks up and take notes on the discourse, oh. which are later used to analyze it. Analyze, Essential, analyze it. Mm -hmm. Essentially, the moderator is a kind of host in the scenario. The scenario, yes. Okay. The role is multi prolonged. Multi -prong. as they were mm -hmm. multi pronged, pronged mm -hmm. as they were different hats in the study. The degree of their involvement in the study may depend on the other actors involved, typically other research who are part of the group, the focus group or the larger research study. Okay, very good. Thank you, Yvonne. Now check. There is, a, you know, there is always a leader everywhere, right? It doesn't matter uh, if you are at work, if you are, in this case, in a focus group, there should always be a person who is monitoring so everything runs correctly. And in this case of the focus group, the one that is in charge of that is the role, is the moderator, right? That's his role. Uh, 
the moderator is the one that is going to be directing or controlling who's going to be speaking in every moment. So if no, if no, it will be a terrible mess, everybody trying to speak at the same time, right? So the moderator is the one that speaks up. So the volume of the, of the voice of the moderator is, is higher, right, than the rest of the people. And uh, when we say that uh, they make sure everyone speaks up, so he's watching, that everybody participates in the discussion, not just uh, two, three people talking and the rest of the people nothing, right? Because the purpose of the focus group is that everybody uh, is free to share their ideas, right? Also, the moderator takes notes. As people are talking, the moderator is taking notes to be sure that everything is taken into account, right? And as the moment of analyzing the, the product that they are using or that they are analyzing, they will use all this information that the moderator has noted, yeah? So that's why we say that the moderator is a type of host. Right? So he's at the front, He's asking for people to talk. He's checking that everybody speaks. And a part of that, he's taking notes. So when you want to summarize the whole idea, he has notes, right, of what to, what to do. Now, in addition, the roles may differ based on the other market research techniques their organization uses, whether it includes survey research, concept testing, experimental research, or others, right? So remember that when you are in a focus group, it will depend on what you're looking for, right? The following lists differ, uh, list the different aspects of the role of the focus group moderator. So he can be an observer, right? Watching that everybody speaks, that nobody stays quiet can be a discussion driver. This is the person who is asking or telling who's going to speak in every moment. That's the discussion driver. Can be also a post-session and on-site session a site analyst. So at the end of the meeting, at the end of all the discussion, when the meeting is about to finish, he will say, okay, today we were discussing this and this and this, and as you mentioned, this and this and this aspects, right? He is going to present what uh, people say. Or he's going to be, or he might be also a recorder or an interviewer. Remember when we said uh, the person who's asking questions, uh, you, the moderator can be asking specific questions to different people, and that's been the interviewer, right? The recorder is the one that keeps track of everything that's going on uh, during the focus group. For example, um, the secretary, right? Like the secretary, when you have a meeting and the secretary has to take notes and has to make a, a complete, right? Uh, how do you call that? Um, I forgot the word. But the, 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 the secretary is writing like a memory of everything that happened in the meeting. So the moderator can be that, right? So that's why in the description, we were, we were saying that he's sure that everybody speaks up. He takes notes. And when he takes notes, he becomes a recorder, right? Mm-hmm. He, at the end, he can use this uh, recording or this uh, notes that he took, the track he took as an analysis at the end of the session, right? Okay, that's the, the role of the moderator. I don't know if you have any questions about it. Questions about the role of the moderator? 
No teacher, yet teacher. Mm -hmm. No. No questions. Can you hear me? Me siento sola. No question, teacher. Okay. Thank you. I feel lonely here. Lonely, lonely. Bye. Esto se los voy a mandar a trabajar a ustedes. Porque si no se me quedan muy calladitos. And I need that you speak. Right? Bye. I'm going to send it for you to uh, this for you to read it and discuss it there in the chat. Here you will find a couple of, uh, well, answer to some questions that we were mentioning yesterday of some things that you were discussing yesterday when you were saying uh, what will be the number of people in the focus group, what is the purpose, uh, how many questions would you do, and everything, right? Okay, check in the chat. I'm adding. And remember, we were saying also that uh, the focus group is used not for quantitative, but also for qualitative information, right? And you're going to be reading about that too. Okay, there we go. Check. The last three uh, slides, those are the ones that you're going to be reading and discussing. I'm going to make groups of, well, I'm going to make four groups. Go ahead, go through the reading, discuss the last three slides that we have. One uh, related to the focus group approach and the other one about the focus group size. We already talked about the moderator and we already talked about the uh, what a focus group is. Yes. Okay. Well, there we go. Join to your group. Y yo yo no sé por qué, pero le doy un ir. Sí, aquí no veo todavía. Voy a, la voy a mover a ver si así le aparece. Ah. Thank you, Hi. I am lonely here. You're alone. Jennifer Elizabeth. Hello, Rebecca. Rebecca, Rebecca. 
Hello, teacher. Yo me entro a la casa. Ahorita enciendo la compu porque estoy del set. Y ya participo. Ok, Jennifer Elizabeth. Unos minutos. Jennifer, Jennifer, hello. Jennifer. Ok, José Alberto, you will move to another group. Hi, teacher. Hi. How are you? Estamos aquí con Adriana, Marcela. Yes. Yes, ok. No estoy desde mi compu, por eso. Mm. Ahí está. Okay. Okay. Sí, es que es lo que entendimos que vamos a compartir que, que es cada uno de estos ¿verdad? what is uh, and the next thing that we have to do is read read mm -hmm. ah, okay. the, three, the three slides and, and get to and discuss what each of the things are Así como íbamos con el grupo discutiendo, pero que me dejaron solita, así es que mejor lo dejo. <risa> es que, teacher, a veces hay, hay este vocabulario, conceptos que sí, pero nos sí. cuesta amarrarlo. Pero me deja a mí sola y nadie me responde y qué tristeza. Okay, <risa> Porque estamos digiriendo todavía. <risa> no, ya venimos más de una semana dando <risa> Focus groups ya deberían de haberlo asimilado. No, es que asimilar sí, pero los nuevos pero conceptos es que no, y todo. Es que sabe que, Rosy, eh, que no me están estudiando fuera de clase, es lo que sucede. Echera, a mí, honestamente, tiempo no me queda. Por no, dos, echera. lo sé. Cuando pero... me puedo conectar por completo, es como que vengo medio perdida, medio asimilo, con lo que medio me acuerdo de. Porque eso ajá, lo vi medio en la U también. Sí. Lo asimilo. Y lo de los focus group desde el lunes venimos hablando de eso. Desde el lunes. Entonces, ajá, por eso es que aquí yo estoy retomando temas que ya dijimos y que ya estuvimos hablando. Entonces, la idea es que ustedes vayan refrescando lo que ya saben uh -huh. eh, para que empiecen a aportar, ¿verdad? Pero se me uh -huh. quedan calladitos. Y eso no puede ser posible porque ya a esta altura ya tendrían que estar hablando más. Vaya, vamos a empezar ahorita. Con Así es que, miren, yo sé que la vida del estudiante es difícil. Créanme, yo he estudiado mis carreras estu trabajando. Uh -huh. He estudiado mis carreras trabajando, pero eh, siempre se hace, se hace falta un un poquitito de sacrificio extra, si de verdad queremos tomarle el, el 100% al aprendizaje. ¿Verdad? Así es que yo las animo a, a sacrificar 10 minutos diarios para revisar lo que se ha estado viendo en clase y van a ver la diferencia. Okay. Okay. O sea, no les pido ni una hora más, ni dos. 10, 15 minutos de, de revisar material, de investigar vocabulary y, y, y ustedes van a ver una, una, pero una grande. ¿Sí? Vamos, ustedes pueden. <laughs> you can do it, you can do it. Focus group size. The typical size of a focus group range between five Uh, ten people, five, uh, seven is the ideal amount of focus group participants, as these groups are purposely kept small. That because when there are more than that, uh, more than seven people present, it is difficult for every member to speak about a topic, issues, and especially to answer a specific question. It will also be difficult for the moderator to control a larger group and assure everyone provides their in, 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 in teacher, mm -hmm. like, how the pronunciation this word, insight, 
Insights. Insights. Insights additional. Gracias, gracias, gracias. Additional, some topic become irrelevant to the continuing discussion after the seventh person weighs in. Okay. Gracias, mom. Can you please the short uh, Sorry. Que si, que si puede, puede ser poner la otra para seguir leyendo y después discutimos si quieres. Ok, pero no quiero que me den un chat privado. No, mentira. <risa> ah, okay. Ahí está. Dice, the focus group approach. This method provides an interactive approach. Así es, dicho, approach. 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 approach for research yeah. participants to share their view, viewpoints and experience and for researchers to collect critical data on their subjects. In direct oppositions to quantitative market research, focus groups do not involve crunching large numbers of or making assumptions based on large quantities. In, instead, instead, mm -hmm. instead, they focus on a small group of participants who represent different market segments and customers, persons, pers persons, right? Yeah. Person. Persons. Customer persons. Mm -hmm. Customer persons. Okay. Your turn, Ross. The focus group approach, approach, approach. In approach. approach. The, the focus group approach in keeping with the quality Qualitative research approach, the moderator uses use open-ended questions. The moderator may also use multiple multiple choice multiple choice, multiple, multiple choice question, but multiple choice questions. Multiple choice question. But the, those are most always followed up in the question to explain to reason behind choosing a particular answer. Does this discussion are typically filing with questions that delve into the why and how as they seek to uncover context and motivation? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I understand the things that they look for, right? They look for. What? Mm -hmm. This? See, seek. They look for uncovered context and motivation. What is the context of the discussion? The product or that the thing that you want to prove. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. For example, if you say, well, what, uh, why, why do you like our product? Why do you like our product? The, the person in the focus group will have to say, well, I like this product. Oh, oh why do you like it? Or why don't you like it, right? Because it, you don't necessarily have to say, I like this product. Imagine you are analyzing a shampoo, right? Mm -hmm. And they, after using the shampoo, you have to, to discuss or you have to answer the questions. And they, and they ask you, did you like this shampoo? Mm -hmm. And you can say yes or no. Remember that what we said is that the purpose of the focus group is to get all the information possible. It doesn't matter if, uh, if the information is good for you or not, because uh -huh. what you want, uh, you're making this because you want to know the truth, right? If you wanted people to tell you, yes, I like it, yes, I like it, just ask the, the employees that you have in the company, right? But you want to know the truth. And that's why you're asking people to discuss questions about the product. 
So you can ask them, why do you like it? Why don't you like it? And if they say that they like it, you can ask also, how do you use it, right? Or different questions that can help you get the context and the motivation of the product. So okay. you know, remember that the purpose of this is to see if your product is good the way it is, Mm -hmm. or if you should improve something, right? I remember uh, okay. about four years ago or mm -hmm. five maybe, I participated in different focus groups. One of them was about uh, dog food. Mm -hmm. uh, so you, they, they give you a... a different samples, no samples, you know, uh, uh, I mean, uh, different um, marcas, how do you say marcas? Brands. Brands, yes, different brands uh, and different size and presentation for dog food. So at the end, they show you the, not the new product, they show you the, the new, a new presentation of the product, a how it's gonna change a, the the colors, the the bags, or I mean the presentation of the product, and how are you gonna receive that a, that new presentation if you accept the new presentation? If you recognize the same. A, product or you identify an, a different product or a different brand. So it was very interesting because I, at the beginning, I believe that they are gonna show us a new product, but at the end it was a new version of the product. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you know, the thing is that, for example, sometimes the customer likes the product. Mm -hmm. with in the new version, as you mentioned. Exactly. In a lot of cases, the changes are not positive. I remember I used mm -hmm. to use, what was the name? Well, a, a shampoo. Uh -huh. I used to like it, but then they changed the color. <laughs> they changed the bottle and the essence of the shampoo changed completely. Okay. I stopped using it. I didn't use it anymore because the, the new one, the new version of the product was terrible for my hair. Mm -hmm. So I had to change it and I said, but what happened? Why did they change if mm -hmm. the product was okay? So if I had had the chance to be in a focus group to discuss about that product, I would have told them, mm, the previous one was better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because the change that you made in the product is not helping my hair anymore. So I cannot use it no more. Right. But yeah, that, that was good to, okay. to, uh, to make a, a focus group to discuss a change that they make to a product so mm -hmm. they can see if people accept the change or if they go back to the previous formula, like what happened to Coca-Cola, right? Uh -huh. so they changed the formula, but then people didn't like it and they had to go back to the original one. Right, yeah. But I, I didn't think so. Mm -hmm. I didn't believe it. I didn't believe that uh, the... Brands on marca, yes. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yes. Brands or or the companies uh, spend a lot of money uh, making focus group. Yeah. Are a a lot of uh, uh, a lot of, of empresas, uh, companies, companies that pay for another companies to make a focus group and. Think about how people is gonna receive the product and all of that. Mm -hmm. Definitely, definitely. 
Bypass. Las dejo for you to continue. Hey, teacher, thank you. Second, the second could be um did you did you finish reading? Not no, teacher. Not yet. ¿Y qué están haciendo? Bueno, lo veo haciendo ya la tarea siguiente. We are designing the question. Which questions? Of the um, this in the part, this part, the, o nos confundimos, this part. No, ahí les mandé al chat de WhatsApp lo que iban a leer y discutir. Ah. Ahí se me adelantaron al siguiente mm. paso. <ríe> Ese okay. es el paso. Entonces no nos equivocamos. Chequen ahí en el chat de, de WhatsApp. I sent you the, the description. Okay. Okay, sure. You have three slides to read and discuss. After that, we are going to go to the questions. But that's the next step. Ya adelantaron cuatro preguntas. Vamos un paso adelante. In what in WhatsApp in the chat of WhatsApp I share it. The three paragraphs mm -hmm. uh, are the discussion yeah. only. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you find them in the chat? Yes. Is valid in the group a small uh, in the focus group are there five to ten people? Mm -hmm. These are very small uh, focus groups, but it is valid. It is valid, but depending on what you're looking for, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Normally, uh, the people are the 10 to 15. Uh huh, exactly. Uh huh, more than seven. Yes, mm -hmm. more than seven. Mm -hmm. So what they do here is that if, if they want to make a, a small focus group, because depending on what they are looking for, right? Uh, what they do is that they make more, uh, more focus groups. Because if you have a 10, 15 people, you can make two. But if you have only five to 10 people, you have to make maybe three groups. So you get more more information from more people. Mm -hmm. No, falta todavía. Mm -hmm. ¿Sí? So you can take turns reading and discussing the, 
the three slides. Focus group of PROAC. Uh, what is it, a PROAC, teacher? Approach. 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 The focus group approach. Mm. So you see the opposite of the of the inter of the surveys, right? And in the survey, you can pass it to 100 people, no problem. You're looking for quantity. But the, the approach of the focus group is the quali in the qualitative. So you want quality in the answers of the people. So that's why you're answering a you're having groups not too big so everybody can speak right and you and they can all share their information but if the if the group is too big not everybody will be able to speak and as they tell you is that they won't get all the information they want because it will take too much time to discuss one a specific point Is uh, in this group uh, the people share that viewpoint are uh, qualities? Uh, no. Uh, how do you say uh, qualities? The qualities. The qualities of the own product. Este grupo estaba Victor. Sí. A ver. Quiero ver. Quiero ver. Sí, verdad. Pero no está. Ay, que lo sacó su... Ay, ya lo jalé, a ver si se si, si logra a mí. I'm, I'm again. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, okay. Did you discuss did you practice on reading or, or, or read the, the slide? Yeah, reading the slide. Nubia. Hola. Has, have you reading the last slide in the group? The number one? The last, the last three slides in the chat. Focus group size, the um, focus group approach. This, mm -hmm. uh, let me see, let me, I am sharing this. Mm -hmm. focus, group, focus group size. The typical size of the focus group ranges between five, to 10 people, five to seven is the ideal amount of focus group participants. As this group are purposely kept small, that's because when there are more than seven people present, it is difficult for every member to speak about the topic. You see? and especially to answer a specific question. It will also be difficult for the moderator to control a larger group and assure everyone provides their insight. Additionally, 
some topics become, become irrelevant to continue discussing after the seven person wait in. Okay, I'm gonna read the second slide. This method provides an, an interactive approach for research. Participants to share their viewpoint and experience and for research to collect critical data on their subjects. In direct opposition to quantitative market research, focus group do not involve crunching. What's, what does mean teacher crunching? Do not involve crunching large numbers. Vamos a, a, a Google. Crunching large number or making assumption. Okay, I understand making assumption. Mm -hmm. Based on large quantities, instead they focus on a small group or participants who re represent different market segments and customer personas. Crunch. Crunching, crunch. Crunch, it says crush a heart or beetle full stuff with the teeth. Mm -hmm. Process large amounts of information or perform operations of great complexity. Este sería el que nos, nos funciona. Mm -hmm. Process large amounts of information or perform operations of great complexity, especially by computer. Coaching. Uh -huh. So they involve a lot of uh, information. Yeah. They involve a lot of information especially on the computer and then, oh, okay uh, that's involved crunching layers number okay mm -hmm. elmer fabricio is there yes. ya lo leído? no ahorita no, okay can you read this part the focus okay. approach in keeping with the qualitative research approach, the moderator use open-ended question. The moderator may also use multiple choice question, but does almost always follow it, follow it up with the question to explain the reasoning behind choosing a particular answer. Thus, the discussion are typically filed with the question that delve into the why and how, as they seek to uncover context and motivation. Okay. Thank you. We are discussing about this writing. Right. 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 Okay. The range the the range for a focus group sure. this indicate. What is the range? A range the like a regular. The the range is um, is like como rango. Rango. A range our ranges. Range. No, sino que range. Yeah. Eh, the Rings. typical size of a focus group ranges, o sea, puede variar yeah. entre 5 y 10. I think that in order to have better information in focus group, you have two more participants. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It depends. It depends about that. Depends on what you want. Yes. So, Okay, so the focus group size could be since 
fifth scene five to fifteen people. It depends what you want, like teacher mm -hmm. are saying. Exactly. Uh, is, is saying. Um okay. The focus group approach. What is the focus group approach in Nubia? <sighs> Los <laughs> grandes suspiros. <laughs> Ay, no. It's a, a method to uh, provide a interactive for research participants to share that their uh, viewpoints. Okay. Teacher, um, pero, it... teacher, pero así como, como que en español. En el grupo focal, en el grupo pequeño, sí. ahí se ven como cosas más específicas de un producto. Lo más cual, cual, Las cualidades. Sí, cualitativo. Cualitativo. O sea, lo que quiere ver es calidad de, del análisis. Y según entiendo que lo hacen con grupos pequeños porque es más fácil como descifrar las respuestas de ellos a manejar. Que todos, y que todos los... hablen. Que todo Ajá. Está, que lo que le dice es que después de un rato estar oyendo la misma, sí, yo también opino que muchas veces la gente no escucha y le está repitiendo lo que el otro ya dijo. Uh -huh. Entonces la reunión, si ya son 20, 25 personas, se puede hacer súper larga, ¿verdad? Porque si cada quien va diciendo, sí, es verdad, yo pienso que es un buen producto, y el otro dice, sí, es verdad, yo pienso... Entonces todos van diciendo lo mismo o preguntando lo mismo, entonces se puede hacer muy largo. Entonces en vez de hacer lo que ellos sugieren, en vez de hacer un grupo de 25, mejor hacer 3 de 8 y uno de 9. En cambio con, con el otro tipo de grupo, ellos ven ya más cantidad de, de, ya no ven algo más específico, sino que es más de... de, de But a quantitative would be better for um, for the ones that they were mentioning that they do online, right? That would be a survey. If you do it online, can be quantitative because you can ask a lot of people, and the same platform gives you the result. But here, as you want qualitative information, you have it small so people, all the people in the group can give their opinion. Mm -hmm. That's why they recommend better a, a small group, right? Okay. Okay. I think um, to explain to the other or on the general group, Without read this slide is we we must uh, record we must remember that approach of the focus group is share the viewpoint of the participants to collect critical data about the product is analyzing. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, this is the discussion. Um, what else? In the last discussion, a typical for filled with question that Dell. What is Dell? The D deal. E deal. 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 Vamos a ver. The model. D E L B E. D E A E D E A L B E L B E the delve. I'm sorry, Scar delve. Delve dictionary. Yes. New vocabulary teacher. Sí. Delve. Algo. Reach inside a receptacle and search for something. Excavate or dig. Vamos a ver qué nos dice el Cambridge Dictionary. Eh, as, to search, especially as if by digging in order to find a 
looking or information. Uh -huh, to search. That's why it says uh, typically filled with questions that delve into the why and how. Uh, yes, okay. yes, okay, I understand. Until they get information. Like, mm -hmm. on that. Uh-huh. On that the they are into the why and how. Yeah. Okay. I think. Tim, are we ready? Yes, yes. Easy, right? I don't know, <laughs> teacher. When you <laughs> when you start to ask in the general group, or 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 get or get nervous nervous. Why? <laughs> I don't know. Why? It's easy. Very easy. Very easy. It's your turn, Nubia. <laughs> yeah. You can do it. <laughs> you can do it. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay, bueno, pues, let's go. Let's go. Return to the room or continue here? Let's go. Okay. Let's wait for everybody to come back. Ok. A ver cuántos nos faltan. Olmos, olmos. Hoy sí. Hi, teacher. Hi, hi. Vamos a ver cuántos faltan. Ahí está. Qué poquito sabemos. Bueno, let's call attendance before we check, right? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Adriana Sofía. No quiero Adriana Sofía. Ana. Ana, Ana Grisel, Ana Grisel, David Alexander, David me imagino que ven tráfico, hoy un accidente fuerte en la carretera Los Chorros, ah, Diego, 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 Edwin. Elda Cristina. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Present teacher. Grace Michelle. Grace, 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 my Grace. Yvonne Marcela. Jennifer. Present. Okay, Jennifer Elizabeth. Present. Jessica Lisette. Jose Alberto. Present, teacher. Karen Janet. Carla Lorena. Present, teacher. Carla Lorena. Present, teacher. Lisette Ayanara. 
Present teacher. Nubia. Present teacher. Rebecca. Present teacher. Rosalda. Present teacher. Manuel. Víctor Manuel. Present teacher. <ríe> y Víctor así como que, ¿por qué me dijo Manuel? Karen Stephanie. Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. José Alfredo. José Alfredo. No está. Ok. Pacha. A ver, a ver, a ver. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the last we discussed. Uh, tell me, what do you think about this size of the focus group? Mm -hmm. What do you think about the size? I think it's the ideal because you have enough opinions to create a trade curious for the product or then you imagine ima, image no imagine an image that you want to to study mm -hmm. exactly so what if we want quality right if we are looking for quality the group should be small if we're looking for quantity the group can be big, right? So what are you looking for? Are you looking for quality or are you looking for quantity? Quality, teacher. Mm -hmm. So if we look for quality, we use a, a small focus group. If we're looking for quantity, we can use a, a survey, right? An, electro, an electronic survey. That way, we have no problem with the collection of the information because the platform will do it. But if what we're looking is for a quality, better small. What, what is an advantage of having a small focus group? What would be an advantage? Mm -hmm. Advantage? No advantage of having a small focus group. The information is more is mass specific. Uh -huh, exactly. The information is more specific when the group is small. Yes. Mm -hmm. What happens if I have a group that is too big? What will happen? Maybe you can lose the control of the group. Exactly. You can lose the control, right? Probably uh, not everybody will be able to speak if the group is too big. But if the group is small, everybody will be able to give their opinion. And of course, uh, that's the purpose, right? To, to be able to listen to everybody. Mm -hmm. Now, what is the approach? A ver, what is the approach of a focus group? What the approach teacher is the focus group is the in an in interactive with the participant um, chair share the, the other viewpoint, sorry, share their viewpoint. And for the moderator is to collect the, the data about their, the product is analyzing. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. So we can have a, a, them sharing the information qualitative, right? Qualitative information. No quantitative, right? But qualitative. Okay. What could be a disadvantage of having a small group? 
Can we can that be a disadvantage? Yes or no? Can that yes. be an advantage of having a, I, a group that is too small? I think uh, when uh, when there is a small group, is not enough criteria to to launch a new product for to the market. Uh -huh. Only based only based on um, uh, by to say three group of ten people is not enough. Uh huh. Uh huh. The information that we can get is too small, right? Especially if it is something that is very delicate, and we want as much opinion as we can, as we can, right? In that case, you may say, "Hmm, only twenty-four or thirty people is is not enough, right?" I would like to listen to more people uh, giving their opinion so I can make a decision. But just with this amount of people, it's not enough for me to make a change, right? So that could be a disadvantage that somebody uh, may say, mm, I want more people. But if we have a, a very big uh, group, there is a disadvantage that not everybody will be able to participate. Not everybody will be able to share their opinions, right? Okay, now let's go to the next, to the last one. What else can you tell me here? Mm -hmm. What else? What can you tell me here? Yes, yes. What do you think? The moderator use a uh, open-ended question. Mm -hmm. uh, use multiple choice question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Use question, uh, for example, why and how? Why and how? Why do you like this? Why do you use this product? Right? You can ask for why and how. Give me a question using how. Mm -hmm. How much are you disponible? Dispuesto, perdón. How do you say dispuesto? Available. Available to pay for the product. Uh -huh. Are you available to pay to pay for the product? Or would you? How much? Pay? How much? How much will be available to okay. pay for the product? Uh, how much would you pay? How much would you pay for the product? Okay. Yes. What does it mean sick? Be sick. Sick is like uh, like synonymous to look for. Uh-huh, exactly. So they say, uh, Delb, what is Delb? This one. What does it mean, Delb? Como profundizar. Exactly. So you want to get in, very in, to get all the information that is uncovered. Right, so that means to search in the hidden information, right? And what you're going to do is you see why and how. Uh, remember that uh, people may tell you some of the information that uh, sometimes you have to ask for very specific questions. 
depending on the information that you really want to get from them. So you have to, to guide them to the information that you want to get from them. Yes? Okay, any questions here? Mm -hmm. And check, we're talking about reasoning, right? A reasoning. So when people reason something, they tell you why, right? Questions to explain the reasoning behind choosing a particular answer. So if you answer yes, why? If you answer no, why not? Okay, so they have to uh, give more information. And remember that we said that the focus, or the approach of the focus group is the qualitative research, right? The qualitative research approach. So we want quality of answers, no quantity, right? That's why this, the, the groups are small. And the moderator uses open-ended questions. So you may have a, a close questions like yes or no, or A, B, C, like giving different options, um, multiple choice questions, right? But also uh, you need open-ended questions if you want to get some extra information. So you see, we have multiple choice questions, but uh, these uh, those questions are almost always not always, but almost always follow up with questions to explain the reasoning behind choosing a particular object or, or a particular answer. Imagine if I ask you which uh, which shampoo would you prefer, or do you like the shampoo that we produce? And the options are yes, no, maybe, I'm not very sure. But then they will tell you, okay, if you answer yes, why? You answer no, why not? You answer maybe, why do you say maybe? What would make you change your mind, right? So these follow-up questions will make you think about the option. So when you give an option, it's not just because um, for me, it's the better, it's the best one, but why? Why is that the best option? Yeah, why is that the best option? So tell me why. So you have to go over making the people think about the option that they gave you. Okay, any questions here? No questions? Yes, teacher? No, teacher? We don't know you, teacher. Questions? No questions? Okay. No, teacher. Thank you. Well, tell me, have you ever conducted a focus group? Why do you think it is important? important to design good questions about the product for the participants in the focus group to respond? Mm -hmm. I'm going to send you to the room for a couple of minutes and then we we'll we'll bring you back. Vamos a hacer new groups. Mm -hmm. Ahí está. I hope you were moved to another, to another group. Discuss the questions. 10 minutes. Check if you can join.
Alin. Check if you can enter. Rebeca, no sé si está de oyente. Edwin no está de oyente, ¿verdad, Edwin? Yo ya estoy aquí. Ah, vaya, perfecto. ¿Qué las preguntas estaban en el libro? Yes, yes. They are in the manual. That's page 24. Page 24. Ok. Okay, I see this question. Okay. I want, I, I share my screen. Okay, first question, oral house. Well, how satisfied are you with the broad? Eso sería. Esa. No, la de, de la página 24. 24. Arriba, arriba, arriba. Arriba. Eso. Ajá, esas, exacto. Ah, ok, ok. okay. Have you ever conducted a focus group? Why do you think it is important to design good questions about the focus group? Okay. Have you ever... In the first question, in my case, I never... You have never? ...stayed in the focus group. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about the others? What about you, Rebecca? Have you ever uh, conducted a focus group? No, teacher. I never. I ever conducted conducted and me of participants. Mm -hmm. And the other one is, uh, why do you think it is important to design good questions? Now, uh, let's think about the questions that people have to make, the ones that are organized in the focus group, right? Okay. I think it's important because as the question how how is is important to design good question about the product for colleagues uh, data. And the data, it's, a, it's allowed to take decision about the market is gonna be uh, launch the product. Teacher, I have a question. Yeah. In the first question, have you ever conducted a focus group it's about um, to do a uh, encuestas or something like that. No, a focus group. Remember, we were saying what we said about uh, what is a focus group, right? We said a focus group is a group. It's a small group of people who get together with people with the specific characteristics that get together to discuss or to analyze a product. Ah, uh, okay. The okay. ones of the solving, no, those are not focus groups. Mm, okay. Anybody, anybody, anybody. Of, Nobody. Anybody, of us, no, right? anybody of us has experience teacher. Okay, me neither. 
<laughs> it would be a good experience, right? To see what, what happens there. But yeah. I have never, I have never been in a focus group. Okay, go for the next question. Why do you think it is important to design good questions about the product for the participants? In this case, it's like talking about the company that is going to make the focus group, right? So thinking about the people who are going to make the questions. Why do you think it is important to design good questions about the product? Um, we are discussing about it and we are agree that you need to do a um, good question and a clear question about your product because if you are not specific or something like that and uh, the people don't understand and maybe you can you can't get um the the answer that you need to know and then it's important to to know um not to do a good question from from that things and i may maybe that's the most important you need to be clear and obviously you're gonna get a good uh, answers exactly exactly good question gets good answers right okay let's go Mm -hmm. 48 seconds. Se nos han quedado algunos allá hasta que los saque Zoom. Carla, en el limbo se me quedó. <laughs> like when you, when you move, right, and then you stay there, like you don't go to one room, but you don't go out of the, you go out from the room, but you don't go to the other one like in the middle i don't know why that happens but let's see so we yeah. said yeah so we said have you ever conducted a focus group yes no hmm? did not no nobody okay that moves us to the next question. Why do you think it is important to design good questions about the product? Mm -hmm. Why do you think it is important to design good questions about the product for the participants in the focus group to respond? Why go to the side of the company that is the one that makes the questions? Mm -hmm. In our group, we was discussing that is the most important part of the focus group because you're you're gonna you're going to have the the opinions for your product, so you can you can see how people is gonna receive or not or not receive your product. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. And remember, you have to ask for the information that you want to get, right? You have to be very specific with what information you want to get. Because the way uh, you ask, that's how, uh, or that's the answer that you will get, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Now let's move to the next sure. check. You're going to work in your groups, but this time I'm going to make the rooms with the people. Remember the people you were working with at the very, very beginning of the unit one, when we started with the idea, with the creation of the idea, the idea screening and everything, because, because, uh, you will make the questions for the focus group of your product or service, right? With the product or service. Sé que hay por ahí algunos que se me unen a los demás grupos porque no, no estuvieron al, al principio cuando se dio esto. Entonces voy a meter primero a los que, que están con sus grupos y los demás me van a ayudar a, 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 que, a colaborar ¿verdad? con los demás grupos que están chiquitos hoy para la elaboración del, del questionnaire. Check. 10 to 12 question, questionnaire. To find out how the participants of a focus group perceive the product you have suggested. You already have your product. So now you want to think if the people will accept it or not, right? Remember to start with questions to make the participants interact with each other and reduce the anxiety, right? So you want people to feel comfortable when they are making their questions and and reduce the stress, the anxiety that they may feel uh, because they are in something that may be totally new for them, right? And then, so first, remember uh, questions that make the participants, questions to make the participants interact with each other, and then questions about the specific characteristics of the product. See? Remember what we were saying before that you may do a multiple choice questions and open questions, depending on the information that you want to get from the people. And even when you make a multiple choice question, be sure uh, that you ask people a way of or to make them think, right? Why they have chosen the answer that they chose. Any question here? No? No question. Thank you. Vamos a ver, let's make the groups manually this time. Mm -hmm. ¿Cuánto? Sí, ¿verdad? Four. Vaya, vamos a ver. Eh, Adriana Marcela, you were with Ana and Adriana Sofía, ¿verdad? Así es, teacher. Vaya, but they are not here right now. I'm going to send you with other people. Ok. Edwin Mauricio, who were the people in your group? No here, Edwin Mauricio. Elda Cristina. I'm with Mon and I always Jenny. forgot it is Jessica or Jennifer. Jennifer. <laughs> yes, any Bon. Y yo no veo a Ivonne, quizás se salió. Jennifer. Uh -huh. Yes, teacher. Jennifer and Yvonne. Yes. Okay. Vamos a ver. Vamos a hacer quizá. Voy a hacer seis grupos. Va. Ok, number one, we we'll say Adriana Marcela. And number two, Elda and Jenny. Number three, 
Jose Alberto, do you remember who were with you? Jose Alfredo y Elmer. Okay, perfect. Number four, Nubia. Victor, Lisette Dayanara. Mm -hmm. um, Rebeca. And Rebeca. Mira. Rosa Hilda no era. Rosa Hilda. Rosa Hilda o Rebeca. No, teacher, de mi grupo no hay nadie. No hay nadie. Ah, ah pues Rebeca Marcela creo que era. Ah, vaya, vaya, vaya. Vamos a ver. Eh, del grupo de Carla con Edwin, ¿verdad? Vayan. Sí, Diego, Karen, Janet, Carla, Rosa y la... Vaya, Rosy. La voy a mandar ahorita con Adriana, Marcela, para que, para que trabajen juntas. Oye. Ok, dicho. Ok. Bacham, check if you can join. Grace, ¿con quién iba en, en el diseño del producto? Este, sorry, teacher, me acabo de, de conectar. Me sí. acabo de llegar. No, pero el, el producto que venimos haciendo desde la unidad 1. ¿Con quién? Con es? Rosy. Con Rosy. Ah, vaya, sí. se, va, se va a alegrar Rosy. Ok. <ríe> Su visita estaba solita prácticamente. Ah, vaya, ahorita ya voy para allá. Gracias, teacher. Ok. Elda, Cristina, Jennifer, check if you can join. Check, me avisa si no le aparece. El, el Jennifer. Jennifer, Jennifer. Voy a empezar con. Do you remember your product? Yes. Yeah, our product is the best idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. The world. <laughs> okay. Mm. So we make a um, make a uh, five question Please, uh, remember to start with questions to make the participants interact with each other and reduce their anxiety yeah anxiety uh, anxiety yeah, anxiety okay and the first questions can be uh, how do you feel about being here <laughs> so yeah something that will help people like reduce the stress like introduction mm -hmm.
How do you feel about? About the product. Mm -hmm. About the product. Mm. Our product uh, anti-insect paint. Maybe, maybe we can start with questions about sick, like uh, dengue. If, if any, any, any participant uh, knows about about that. Mm -hmm. Maybe it can be how much how much of you quanto de ustedes? How many of you? How many? Oh. How many of you? No. To know the product. Or you can use, uh, are you familiar, familiarized with the product? Mm -hmm. Yo lo veía un poquito más así como que, que si nosotros le preguntamos si alguno de los participantes ha sufrido alguna enfermedad transmitida por un sector, por ejemplo, Zika o cosas así. Uh, wh what is your product? Una pintura anti-insectos, anti-insect paint. Oh, okay. That would be perfect. Yes. Teacher. Yeah. Will be... Um, how many times a year do you paint your house? The first question. Sí, that, that yeah. is. Mm -hmm. Como pregun pregunta introductoria, ¿verdad? Al producto. Ajá, uh -huh, exacto. Ok. The next. Um, do you know the anti-insect paint mm -hmm. or oh, have, have, have you you can ask have you ever heard have you ever have you ever heard? Uh -huh. Have you ever heard about anti insect paint? Insect paint. Does it exist? Yes. Really? Really? Yes. But in, not in the country, it's in Guatemala. Hmm. Uh, we, we, uh, we oh, the company can, uh, se dice traer? bring, uh -huh. bring this road to El Salvador, El Salvador, but uh, we need so much. Uh, it's very permisos oh. for the components, all the all the all the components uh, for the for make the, the, the paint is toxic. Is, is toxic. Oh. Yes. Mm -hmm. And medio ambiente and salud. So all the ministries uh, 
have to 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 give us the the, the permissions three uh -huh. because if they are uh, if the product is bad to the environment that means it's bad for your health too, right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so in guatemala is is uh, very popular wow. the is the chas chas this is the name the, 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 chas, -chas. Uh -huh. the chas chas and, and it really works what does it really Just, work yes yes the, yes the mosquitoes in, in so much hospitals can so much hospitals can use in in the uh, clinics and uh, schools uh, and uh, the, the people there uh -huh. uh, uh, but it's it's expensive mm -hmm. yeah it's, it's a good option to yeah. invest the money because right now there are too many mosquitoes yeah I'm always with my racket when I move to to a place. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing tennis because too many mosquitoes everywhere. Much. My my daughter take a take a racket for to play with the cousin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but imagine. But tennis. Uh huh, like playing tennis. <laughs> so I played with the mosquitoes. I'm like, hey, come here, come here, come here. <laughs> Terrible. They enter from the garden. But 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 it's but it's not not mm, kills mosquitoes. It's not mosquitoes. No, the uh, uh, she's playing tennis with the racket. Mm, she's not killing mosquitoes. <laughs> no, not killing mosquitoes. <laughs> oh my! No, I can it with the mosquitoes. No, my daughter no. Papi, say she say me, papi. Can I, can I, can I take the racket and and me? Yeah. Y pero después la veo jugando con la pelota y con la prima en el patio con la raqueta. Ay, it won't kill mosquitoes anymore. <laughs> okay, I let you for you to continue with the other questions. No sé. What is important of what? What? Important of what? Acerca de, de ese tipo de servicios. About this kind of service. Okay. Or what do you think is the most important? No sé. In question number five, you can change when. See, sí. when are you going to visit the tire assembly again? Okay. In la number six. Okay. okay. When, in vez de how often. How often, okay. Are, are you going? How Yes, a future. Mm -hmm. Okay. When are you going to visit the tire assembly again? Mm -hmm. Nice. What is your product? Uh, a new tire yes. assembly. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Just one. 
how much could you pay for the product like this? And I don't know if we we can read the last question. What could what would you change of the design? Oh yes. What do you change? Mm -hmm. If you could make a change in the product, what could be? What would it be? Would. What would it be? What would it be? Mm -hmm. Would it be? It be okay. But I'm going to make you an observation in number one and number six. Number one, what kind of fabric do you like to? Do you like to wear? Mm -hmm. okay. And number six, would you would you recommend? recommend would you recommend our product? Our product with other people or team. Okay, erase, yeah. delete the part, okay. Delete that, uh-huh, perfect. Bien. Okay. Seven and eight, don't forget the question mark. The question mark. Awesome. Very good, very good, you finished. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. One minute, one minute, and I call you. Victor. What? <laughs> uh -huh. Marcus is brown. Uh, what bronze use? What do you think about? In number two. Oh. About. Mind. The appearance of the product. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. That's okay. What brand do you frequently use? Que era para la que estábamos diciendo la la. Number four, brown. No, esa palabra para mí, pero... eh, Brand es B R A N D S. Uh -huh. Bra brands. Uh -huh. What brands do you frequently use? Frequent. Ahí no sé si para especificar. Q. Q instead of seeing frequently eh, a ah, eh, Rosy. Ah. Uh -huh. Frequently used. Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Number five. Mm. ¿Por qué pre prefieres esas marcas? Why? ¿O qué, bene qué beneficio? Es que ahí me, me planteo dos preguntas. ¿Qué uh -huh. beneficio obtienes? de utilizar esas o que esperas recibir de esta marca no es no producto mm. <coughs> sería mejor los beneficios que beneficios Porque puede ser calidad, precio. Ajá, uh -huh. what benefits. Vaya, uh -huh. yo le veo así, what benefits do you expect to obtain using your products? Despacito, please. Oh, no, no, <laughs> se la digo en inglés para... Uh, what, what qué? Benefits. What benefits... 
Kasi benefits. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you expect? Oh, es que en esperas, teacher, ¿qué otra palabra podemos? Do no. Expect. It's okay. Do you expect? Oh. Do you expect? E, X, P, E, C, T. I. Don't forget the E at the beginning. Expect. Sí. Expect. Uh-huh. No, without the S. But don't forget the E at the beginning, Rosie. Expect. Okay. Uh -huh. Expect. S here. No. No. Mm -mm. What benefit do you expect? To obtain using your products. Repeat, please. Expect. To obtain, eh, como obtener. Mm -hmm. Obtain. Eso se pronuncia. Obtain. 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 You write obtain, but you say obtain. 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 A. E. Uh -huh. Okay. Obtain. To obtain. Using your product. Our product. Our product. Mm -hmm. Our product. Our product. Our product. Ajá. Our products sería. Our products. Sí, sí, era our products. Perdón, yo lo pronuncié mal. No, y también lo estoy escribiendo mal. Products. Teacher, ¿es vitamin only one? Vitamin. Ah, only one. Uh, are three. Vitamin. Uh, vitamin E. Omega, omega mm. three. And uh, probiotics. probiotics. Entonces, pero, es, pero son productos porque son Ajá, tres. Exactly, you have, you have three products. Los probióticos are for, for the stomach, right? Yes. For the gastritis. No. También uh, sirve para uh, las vías urinarias. Mm. Hay pro, cepas de probióticos que ayudan a mejorar eh, lo que es la. No la mejorar, flora. sino que. La, ajá, para la, la flora intestinal. Evitar también que. Mm. Ocurran las infecciones de vías urinarias. Mm. Como son bacterias buenas, pero por eso quizás uh -huh. ayuda mucho. Uh -huh. But there are, so there are different types of probiotics then. One for the flora and the other for the, for the kidneys. So they must be different or it's the same? Oh, hay muchísimas eh, clases de probióticos. De cepas, cepas de probióticos. Ok. Okay, okay. Entonces es un producto <risa> El de nosotros. Ah, yeah, sí, sí. <risa> ya solo nos falta que nos la prueben ya. En, en, Registrar. En una, <risa> ajá, una droguería que nos quieran hacer ya nuestro producto. Ya tenemos todo. Es <risa> muy bien. ¿Qué ah. otra pregunta? Sí, porque si ponemos... El precio, si preguntamos por el precio. Uh -huh. Vaya, one, one minute y me las llevo. Ok. Ok. Pero el precio no abarca ahí en los beneficios. Mm -mm. No, no. Ajá, es que podría ser una pregunta extra también. Sí. Porque beneficios no, no solo, pues se puede obtener aparte del económico, también el, el de la salud, vea. Ajá, exacto. Ok. ¿Cómo era la pregunta, Grace Michi? Mm. De todas maneras, usted termina las otras seis por llegar tarde, me, me las manda y las presentamos mañana. <risa> ¡Ay, Dios! ¡De castiga! ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo de castiga. Le... <risa> Va a reponer tiempo. ¿eh? <risa> nos faltan, si son doce, nos faltan... Sí, faltan siete. Seis, no, siete por... finish no porque ahorita es... Sí, okay. but we will finish tomorrow, don't worry. Pero okay. asegúrense de guardar. Oye, sí, guárdelo, Rosy. Uh -huh. No sé, aquí llevamos el historial, teacher, de lo que vamos haciendo. Excelente. <risa> Let's go. Yes. Ok. Vamos a ver. It's time, right? Some of you, I know you finished with the questions, some others know that tomorrow 
we are going to continue working with the questions. Okay. Tomorrow is Saturday. Ah, oh, no. Tomorrow is Friday. La quisiera. <laughs> Friday. Oh, no. Se, ya I, I, I think like, I think like, uh, this is uh, Friday too. Yeah, but no. I feel. <laughs> you wish, right? You wish it were Friday, but no. Yes. It's Thursday. It's Tomorrow, Friday. Yeah, one more day, one more day, and then you will be resting. Vamos a ver who are here. Eh, Adriana, Sofía, Ana Alicia, Ana Grisel. Me perdieron todas las. Ah, 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 ah. ¿Qué no. pasó? Se durmieron ya. Y la letra A se perdió. Dicheres sí, están igual así como cuando estábamos en... en ¿Cómo se llama? En otro en otro la letra A faltaba ahora, mañana va a faltar la R. Es. Sí, <risa> ¡Qué galambe! La R de Rebeca y Rosy. Yo y Rodríguez. <risa> Vamos a ver. Ana Grisel, David. Ni de ver las primeras letras me perdieron hoy. David. Diego. Ed, Pero... Edwin Mauricio. Edwin. Ahí está, pero no contesta. No, Edwin. Ahí está Edwin, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí, ahí está. Ay. También Adriana estaba ahí, Adriana Marcela. Ah, pero Adriana Marcela está más allá. Por eso es que está, porque es del, de, de más allá. No del más allá, Adriana. <risa> <risa> Elda Cristina. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Present teacher. Grace Michelle. Ivonne Marcela. ¿Verdad que Ivonne entró un ratito? Yes, teacher, entró. Saber qué les... eh, iba en, iba en el, un camino. Ajá, eso dijo. ¿Es Yo solo escuché que le dijo, no, mi amor, y ya estuvo. <ríe> Ay, no. Vaya, Jennifer Elizabeth. Present, teacher. Jessica Lisette. José Alberto. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Zetayanara. Present teacher. Nubia. Present teacher. Rebeca Marcela. Present teacher. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Victor. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. Y Alfredo. Mm. Y hoy le toca a José Alberto, le toca quedarse ahora. Hoy que José Alberto quería que fuera viernes, so sorry José Alberto. <risa> <risa> así como ayer que le digo, se queda conmigo Jessica y se salió. No sé si no me oyó, no es café. Tengo tres, cuatro días. Ah, se, se, ¿Se puede así? No. <ríe> no, porque ya mucho me quedé solita, diez minutos al final. Sí, se me perdió ayer, se me perdió Jessica. ¿Yo qué digo? Jessica, you stay with me? Disappear. Sí. Mañana, para que no se les olvide, mañana se programa este Karen Janet y el, sí, no, mañana, sí, ¿verdad? Mañana. Y el lunes, Carla Lorena. Lizette Dayanara, martes, Nubia, miércoles, Rebeca, jueves, Rosy, el otro viernes. No karaoke, Rosy. Entonces, mañana, pues, no, mentira. <ríe> And Víctor, The Last Day. Ok. ¿A mí cuándo, teacher? Rebeca. 
Rebeca. No, Grace. Grace. Ya le digo, Grace. Usted le tocaba el 9, el día 9, y no estuvo. Si no le digo, pues esta semana. Cuando le tocó a Elmer Fabricio, no estuvo. Cuando le tocó a Grace, no estuvo Grace. Cuando le tocó a Ivonne Marcela, tampoco. Y cuando le tocó a Jennifer, tampoco soy yo. Yo he estado solita toda la semana. Yo iba, yo, no, no, no es tocar. Perdón, dije, mi mamá me está preguntando. Es que no, yo no, yo ya trato de llevar la cuenta, pero hoy me perdí. Sí, vaya. Vamos otro día que alguien no se quede, me quedo, Ticha. Va, perfecto. ¿Podemos empezar otra vez la cuenta, Ticha? <ríe> sí, verdad. Desde el uno, por todo lo que no se quedaron cuando les tocó. Ah, vale. Sí. Vaya, se puede quedar. Yo no sé si Janet, Karen Janet se va a poder quedar mañana. Y si no, Grace se queda usted mañana. Ok, ya. si ella no se queda, me quedo. Va, ok. Así se programa de una vez. Vaya, pues, good night. See you, see you. Good night. Bye, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. We continue with the questions tomorrow. Don't lose them. Hi, Jose Alberto. Do you have any questions? Um, no. No? No. Easy topics. Uh, I, I, I have a, a question last week. Go the, the, I uh, getting in the platform, but uh, I finished the unit two. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's nice because uh, for Monday you have unit two and the and the midterm. Mm -hmm. uh, I, yeah, yeah, I'm the oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. Uh, la, um, the class or of yesterday mm -hmm. is in the in the platform yesterday's oh. class it should be it should be i haven't seen if they already uploaded it but it should be because i upload it at night and they upload it to the platform let me see but i try to see the today la to see the video. At, at, okay. uh -huh, at 11 in the morning, but mm -hmm. I can't. Probably they hadn't uploaded it, let me see. Let's see. Uh -huh, because I uploaded it at night, at about 11 p.m. it is already, well, mm -hmm. at about 11.30 it is. On, <laughs> but 11 30 at night. Vamos a ver. That was video conference number 12. Sí. Yeah, it is here. Okay. Le puse el product. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it is uh, uh -huh. it is already here. Okay, I see that tomorrow yeah. I can, I can, uh, you can give a check. Uh -huh. The one of, uh, quiero ver, the video conference number 11 was the one of transitions, but you were in that class, right? Yes, yes the one of the transitions yeah we have been talking a lot about the the products testing the mm -hmm. products and about the focus group mm -hmm. that has a lot to say but uh, i i hear like it's the target sample round of sample competitive treat and mm -hmm. only a uh -huh. and i 
I can hear all, but uh, because I, I you wear yeah. it. Uh -huh. Ah, mire. Here, see. uh huh. And that is that the the homework two point eleven is about that. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It's about yesterday's class. And the other one, the two fourteen, it's about the focus group. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And about a uh, review of the present perfect. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's about yeah, tomorrow. Well, no, tomorrow we finish with the questions related to the focus groups. Mm -hmm. And on, on Monday, we're going to have a review of all the grammar structures that we were using in this unit. Okay. Talking about the present perfect because the, the present perfect, and also talking about the transitions. Right? Uh, right. Visions that are completely new for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, if you don't have any questions, see you tomorrow then. Okay. Thank you. you now tomorrow, it is teacher. now it is Friday. <laughs> <laughs> in, in a few minutes. <laughs> in a few minutes, it's going to be Friday, yes. Okay, okay teacher. Thank you. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye.